In broad daylight, Durban's addicts are slowly killing themselves by smoking a drug that was developed to save lives. This is Wonga, and it's so addictive that the users are hooked within days. Now we are smoking, now I'm feeling right. I'm good. But if I don't smoke, eh, I'm sick. I don't do anything. Wonga's made from the antiretroviral drugs that are used to treat HIV. Add in rat poison and marijuana, and a few drags deliver a high so potent that some will do anything to get a fix. You prostitute yourself. Sometimes I can catch someone, I can rope him, because I want the money to buy this thing. So all of you here, you have all tried Wonga? Some spend a hundred pounds a day on Wonga just to keep the withdrawal pains at bay. So this woman's just got out of pipe that she's got crack cocaine in. She couldn't get any Wonga, so she's resorted to this instead. Wonga's so toxic that it's already killed scores of addicts. But those who smoke it are not the only victims. People with HIV are being preyed on for their medication, threatening the country's battle against AIDS. At this one small clinic near Durban, dozens of patients are being robbed every week. When those people are going out of the, of the clinic, they are mugged outside, yeah. they are threatened. They are for threatened the by, ARVs? Yes, by, they are using force, they are using violence against uh, our people. To steal the drugs? Yeah, to steal the drugs. Some communities are trying to fight back. This house used to be a drugs den, but it's now the headquarters of a group called Wonga Free, which is taking action against the dealers. Siswe was convinced to change his ways. This drug, it started killing people and ruining everyone's lives. So the community came after me and destroyed my house to make me stop selling it. As for the addicts, like 22-year-old Salman, their own relatives are turning them in. And your family's actually reported you to the police? Yeah, yeah. And they're over here waiting for you? Yes. He's been stealing from his family and neighbours to pay for the drug. It's a bad situation for you here. Very bad situation. Most of those arrested are simply fined and put back on the streets. Back to a life of stealing to feed their addiction as more government-funded AIDS drugs go up in smoke. Emma Hurd, Sky News, Durban.